Okay, Rick Tobin, I'm here with my friend Laz over at Hotel Seacrest. And Laz and I have uh, uh, known each other for what, probably seven, eight years now? At least eight years. We met in 2013. Okay. So, oh, we. Oh, 10 years now. <laughs> anniversary. <laughs> anniversary. Looks like a party. It so, will be later. <laughs> okay. So, so Lars came over here uh, from Denmark. I met him when he was looking to move over here and had not owned, you hadn't owned a hotel before, right? Never. No. So you'd owned other properties, but yeah. never a hotel. No. And tell, uh, I'd love to have you tell people a little bit about how the experience has been for you. It's been fantastic. Uh, first of all, to me, what was important was to be guided into the direction of finding the right place. And you were good at doing that. And that's why we've been making uh, different deals. But it's a fantastic experience. You meet a lot of people and 99% of the people you meet are good people. And there's a few things you need to be aware of and the two most important things to us me running a hotel here is that it has to be clean as number one and number two is it has to be friendly and with do these two things you you will do pretty good okay so were you nervous at all buying your first hotel about the business and learning how to operate the business I was shaking nervous because <laughs> <laughs> I came from Denmark with a different language and I was in a different business. But uh, it took me, honestly, it, it took me two to three months to get into it, to get into the vibe of how you do this and the process of cleaning and answering the phone, the booking systems and finding the right suppliers. and approach to the guests and stuff like that but it's not a thing everybody can do but it's it's just, it's possible so I know you're you're super hands-on uh, you probably looked at a lot of different software not to pick any particular one but was it hard to learn the software that to run the hotel they designed the software uh, I'm on a rest Nexus thing and I know other softwares and they all fairly easy to work with it took me a week and then i knew how to work it and i'm not a big computer guy i do computer stuff i do things on my computer but the software is easy to work with and they all have you can call a hotline okay. almost 24 hours a day and they'll help you out okay and and uh addressing south florida so from denmark you had a lot of choices yeah. Did you look at a lot of places or did you already know you wanted to be in South Florida or? We had the thing that we've been coming to Lauderdale by the sea since 1998 with our kids. And it was always on our wish list to come here. And we had the opportunity, it showed in 2013. And we had a family meeting, we talked about it. And so that's, Lauderdale by the sea in South Florida was on our wish list and we never regretted it. Okay, terrific. Any any particular good or or experiences that you would warn people to avoid uh, in hotel ownership? Be nice and polite and people will be nice and polite to you. Try to give them a little bit more than they expect and I mean be clean and be friendly if things break down fix it immediately that's it's it's not rocket science it's do what you would expect if you came as a guest and treat people like you want to be treated it's it's not rocket science just be nice be a good person okay yeah good advice in any business i guess right i it might be yeah i guess you're right all right so that's laz at hotel seacrest and if somebody wants to come to stay in Hotel Seacrest, how would they get a hold of you? They'll call me on 954-530-8854 or go on hotelsecrest.com where you can see the rooms, you can see the property. You can see, it will show you that everything is renovated, pool, rooms, everything. We'll take good care of you. All right, Laz and Hotel Seacrest and information about uh, what it's been like for him to be a hotel owner. I can Thanks only so recommend much. it. <laughs>